Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I'm going to be reviewing the AOKP Task 650 ROM for your AT&T and T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S4s. So guys, uh, if you don't know, on the GS3, this was actually my favorite ROM and I said that a couple of times in the videos. Uh, the developer Task 650 is by far one of my favorite developers and he really does put a lot of hard work into his ROMs and his kernels. So, this is the version for the Galaxy S4 that he released recently, and it supports right now the AT&T and T-Mobile Galaxy S4s. So if you're not familiar with this ROM, you're definitely going to be familiar with it, as this is a must-have ROM for your Galaxy S4. So guys, let's get started right away. So as you can tell, this is AOSP Android. Uh, this isn't a fresh install, obviously, but it is still very fast. Uh, of course, it's running the latest version of Android 4.2.2. So if we pop up into settings and go down to about phone, you can tell that it is version Android 4.2.2. Now, it's just something a little funny he added. If you go down and you click on AOKP version a lot, or developer, it. there it is, Android Open King Project. If you hold it, you get a bunch of little Task 650 logos you could throw around. So of course that's just a little bit funny thing. <laughs> Not going to be useful at all. So everything on this ROM is working great. Uh, the camera works perfectly fine. If we pop up into camera, you can see it's working perfectly normal. We get all our different video features here in Panorama. Of course all our extra customizable settings. So you even get HDR too. So camera is fully functional there. Uh, phone and messaging does work also. So you can just go in here. Text is normal. And same goes for phone. It's just the stock way you're used to of doing it. So uh, this does come with not that many special apps itself. You do get DSP Manager. Basically, you can manage your music throughout here, which is pretty cool. You can enable Bast Boost and just some other stuff here for better music quality and I think when it comes to apps the rest are pretty much stock based apps that you're used to getting you do get Google Hangouts which is awesome a bonus tab if you're on at and since you don't get that out of the box so let's go into settings where obviously most of your customization is going to be uh, I'm not going to be able to cover all the settings because there are a lot of them so let's start off with dark AOKP. Uh, a lot of AOSP ROMs have been using this feature now. So you can turn this on right here. As you can see, the UI has gotten darker. And if you look through some of the apps right here, some um, will also be darker. So if you open up messaging, you can see how it changed colors to black and blue. Uh, this will do that kind of stuff in email too. As you can see, that could be bad sometimes when you're trying to read something like this. It might not look as good, but Still pretty cool feature to have in your settings. If we pop back up into settings, as you can tell, the animations are actually really fast. So if we do multitasking, really, really fast, a lot faster than TouchWiz in my case. So we could go uh, into ROM control where all your basic settings are going to be. Here we have general UI, so we can enter it. Uh, we can change our custom carrier label. You do get transparency settings, so you can customize the transparency of your lock screen and your status bar, and then click save if you want to keep it that way. Of course, we if we go down, we do get status bar brightness slider. That's actually a really cool feature. You could control the brightness through here by swiping. As you can see, it got lighter and darker. So I found that a really cool feature to have. Let's actually turn it up a little bit more now. But of course, it's not as useful as using that, but a really cool feature to have. You can enable hide status bar if you want to hide the status bar for some reason. We could change the UI mode, and we could allow a bunch of different degree rotations. So we could allow 180, which basically lets your device rotate upside down. And some other LCD settings right here, and enable kill all button hardware back to kill. So you could hold the back button to kill all your apps. Uh, if we go into lock screen, we get a bunch of settings here. We could add percentage, volume wake, volume music controls, widget carousel. You could allow all widgets and all those 
awesome settings if you want to use them. Power menu, you could go through here, enable a bunch of different toggles to have when you hold your power button. Just quick access things that you want to use very quickly. Of course, you can enable the navigation bar. Right here, just click enable bar. Now, uh, you're just going to allow super user request. And you should get a navigation bar. So there you go. If you want to have a navigation bar for some reason, you can enable it. Oops. Yeah, so just go back. Uh, now we're going to go down to navigation ring, which is, of course, if you're going to use the navigation bar, you can enable and customize the navigation ring. So we could also go here into ribbons. Here you can add uh, different icons to your s notification area and your lock screen and basically they give you quick access to different apps so if you want to use that feature you can and it is pretty handy so uh, if we go into battery actually here you could go into battery icon style and you get a bunch of different choices to change the battery up at the top so whatever you want to change it there uh, in toggles you can change the toggle style from tiles to traditional or scrollable we could, uh, of course, change the setup, the order of how we want it, and just some other toggle settings down there. And that's about it. You can also customize your LED sound and vibrations if you feel like doing it. And actually, uh, this is an important one. Once you've installed the ROM, you could go to About AOKP, and you could donate to these different people that contributed on building the ROM. And you definitely should donate as it is hard work so definitely go check all these people out so uh... we don't get that many more settings we do get kernel settings so as i said he comes uh... with his own kernel and we can enable choice forever right here and you can basically use this app called trickster mod that installs for you to go through and customize how fast you want your phone running you can change the maximum and the minimum speeds and the governor of course so you get a lot of awesome settings there you do get C lock which is basically just a clock with a lot of customizations and then we do get device options so as I said you do get a lot of settings here this is really a must have ROM not only do you get so many features it is really really fast and I highly suggest trying it out so guys uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit like down below also do subscribe Check out my website, www.phonetechkid.com, for the latest tech news. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter at f just Phone Tech Kid, and uh, so you can get the latest news there, too. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.